Hello everybody and welcome back to the show. I hope you're all having a wonderful time. Before we start, I just want to apologise for not being about for two, two and a half weeks. Back down to work and family, but I'll spare you the details. I do not want to bore you because we've got an amazing, amazing subject we've just got to cover tonight. So, without further ado, let's get on with the show. And as you can see from the picture, tonight's subject is Gotrick Gunnarsson, uh, the survivor of the old world, undaunted, unchanged, and still looking for a fight. As you were away last year, we had Realm Slayer come out, which was amazing. I had the audiobook, and it just blew me away. It's, it shows you how badass the old world was, and makes you kind of question how the new realms are done because obviously everyone's a little bit weaker everyone's a little bit i don't know a bit uh i don't know a bit more magic as he's pointed out himself but that's a topic for another video what we've got coming out this weekend is an amazing model as you can see by here i'm going to put some other details up now but you can see the level of quality that's coming out in this model it's just pure badass and i gotta be honest i will applaud gw for what they've done with this model but it's not just a model it's not just an amazing base it's got a war scroll as well and it's blew me away i i saw it earlier and i had to do a video on it so yeah then let's just get into it then guys is it and here we go guys it's the war scroll in all its glory so let's get the bottom out of the way first uh the points on him are 520 he can be taken as an ally for grand order alliance or if you want to take him in your fire slayers or your free or your dwarden um but still but they've said at the bottom he is a army of one basically you would, if you take him you don't have any other allies and you could take him in pitch battles and uh, meeting engagements but it also has this little bit at the bottom um even if the point cost exceed the amount for ally, allowed for allies so as long as you got the points for him you can take him he seems to he seems to break the the ally chart at the moment which i don't know whether that's a good thing or not but i think if you were going to pick up this model you wouldn't want him just on your shelf you want to get him you want to get him on the uh, on the field of battle so We've gone through the bottom now let's go to the top you've got a movement of four which means he's a bit slow but he is a dwarf eight wounds a four plus save and a ten bravery so he ain't going anyway he's his wounds could have been a bit better but that's kind of negated as we see further down and a four plus save could be better um uh, we can see that he has got uh, the axe Zangron Flaz range 1 6 attack 3 plus to hit and to wound rend minus 2 damage 3 so I think the description is he's a main character and he's armed with the axe that I just said and now this goes into him his abilities Right, well, as I said, before we go back into abilities, a bit of editing now, he's a reliable champion on your army, right? But these abilities, I feel, are going to just make him over the top. It's, he's going to be worth the 520 points because perhaps, well, I'm going to read them out and I think they're worth it. If they, if you guys don't think he's worth it, just let me know why. Right, it's the Avatar of Grimnir, 
If the damage inflicted by an attack, spell, or ability that targets or affects this model is greater than 1, change it to 1. In addition, if a spell or ability that would slay the model, this model would suffer one mortal wound instead. However, if this model is included in your army, it cannot be set up in reserve, set up, um, and you cannot use spells or abilities on this model like you would allow to set it up again after it's begun. So, basically, he is, because he's the avatar of Gumnia, he's sturdy, he's not being wiped out straight away, which is always a bonus, but the negative is going to be got to be put up on the field first because he is your avatar of war and he doesn't benefit from any buffs that could overflow from the army. So, like I said, he is an army of one, he's old school, old rules, I would say. So, he doesn't get any benefit, he doesn't get any buffs. He is the one man wrecking machine. And to help him be that one man wrecking machine, he has Crag Black Hammer's Master Room. You can re roll hit and wound rolls attacks made by this model. In addition, if the unmodified hit roll for an attack made by this model is 6, the attack inflicts d6 mortal wounds on the target in addition to any normal damage. We see this we see this one a lot. I'm not gonna say it's fantastic, but it's a more I would say nine nine out of ten champions have got this one rule. So if you're lucky enough to roll it, you're doing your three wounds plus your D three. So you effectively you could be taking out champions, you could be half in units, if not wiping them out. But then he is a berserker, so here we go. Unstoppable Battle Fury. At the end of the combat phase, if this model is within 3 inches of an enemy unit, this model can fight again. So, I'm guessing that's your unit gone. Because if you've gone in, you've taken off, say, 3 out of, three out of 5 models, they are still about, you can get straight into them. Or if they are out of position and they've moved and you were at in three inches you could just move straight into another unit he's gonna bounce around a bit I think he's you know he's he might have a four four inch movement but if you can work him right he's got three inch but bouncing into another fight so you know that's where he makes up his difference and we've got the shoulder plate of death Roll a dice each time you are allocated a wound or a mortal wound for this model. On a 3 plus, mortal wound is negated. Or normal wound. So, he's a 4 plus, 3 plus. Um, then he's a boss. And I know I've just gone through it really quick. But it doesn't seem like he's got a lot of abilities compared to some champions. But I just want you to realise that they work these in a way that you've just got some amazing, amazing HQ. If you've got it, and I would say if you've got an older army, it'd be foolish not to take him just for a bit of fun. Because he's going to do damage. He's going to do, he's going to take off his points worth. He's going to, he'll wipe off more than 520 and I'd be surprised if he doesn't because if you think about it you could stick him up against say the great demon of Stanesh with the dark te uh, the dark Templars rule if he says no well, instead of taking d3 wounds he goes no I'm just taking one and then he just lays waste to him it's, it's I, don't, I can't stress enough how game changing this one model is because I think if you're a Dwarden player or even if you're just a fire slayer in general he's going to make such a difference to your army if you can get him into battle battle's not going to be about much longer but that's my opinion do you guys agree do you think he's overcosted do you think they could have dropped him down 
450, 475, maybe a bit lower. Do you think his rules are rubbish? Let me know, that's what the comments are for. And that's it guys, it's a very short one today because I just wanted to cover the war scroll more than anything. Um, because it's been very quick, I've put details back up on Gothic behind us as we're talking. I just think it's an amazing model. Um, yeah, it's. I wanted to get back into the swing of it. I didn't want to just disappear because when you've walked away from something for a bit, it does take a little bit of, you know, well, I, I don't know. It takes a little bit of time to get back into the swing of it. So I hope you'll be with me. There is going to be more content coming up. Because um, as a club, we've got our Blood Bowl League starting again. So we will be showing more Blood Bowl. And hopefully I can spread out other content as well. I know I keep saying this, but I'm trying to get into the swing of it. I'm trying to get a uh, brought it up. But yeah, it's the channel is going to be on the up and up now. Between now and this time next year. Because there's going to be a few events that we're going to be traveling to and if you follow us on instagram and twitter you will know the two events that we are booked for at the moment and yeah if you were if you're not part of the instagram family or the twitter family links are down below jo join us and have a great time just you know talking rubbish because that's what i like to do and I like to post rubbish as well. Mostly it's going to be halflings as well. Because that is the year of the flings I am going for. I'm going to try and get. Well. I'm going to try and get war cry content up soon as well. And. I've got to finish my AOS army. It's just so much going on at the moment. So. Thank you. For sticking with me. I will see you in the next video and hopefully I'll have a little bit more to talk about. So again, thank you very much for sticking with me.